Hey guys, I'm Jane on occasion, and today we are fighting Munificus the Undying. I know, how fancy. Very fancy. Uh, also, stratagems. Uh, I just want to check, did I get... I did get... Okay, yeah, full and Knights Recover with extra HP. I mean, that seems quite nice, but I think just a heal to stop them going down in the first place will do the job fine. So yeah, anyway, uh, we have uh, a teleport and a... Um, extra AP and we're good basically everyone has awesome gear uh, we can put vulnerability on enemies with the Croesus there which is nice uh, we have a big old hammer and a uh, gun with stun and a doctor we've got everything we need we have Iolanthus, Thule, Iolanthus and Han what more could you possibly want oh except okay we have we have uh, uh, a disruptor skull I'm thinking of the, the Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter? Demon Prince. We're Demon Hunters. The Demon Prince. We wanted to disrupt. And I've kind of had it in my head that we want to disrupt every enemy we encounter. Like, every boss is going to have some cool moves uh, that we'll want to disrupt. But the Skull should do it, right? Just once per turn we could use that. We have three ammo. I don't think the enemy's going to last more than three turns. So, I have faith in that. I think that'll probably do. Uh, our chaplain here has an extractor servo skull, but honestly, we're in a boss fight. I don't think we're going to be getting any seeds. I don't think there will be any. Were there in the last one? If there were, I, I don't mind. We can we can do without it. Uh, we are going to swap this out for something else. I don't know whether I want to go for... Uh, if I give him more focus, Vulnerable will go up to 100%. I think. Yes. That's very cool. That is very cool to have. So I quite like that. Although I could also put up his own crit damage and crit chance, which is also really nice. Because this has got pretty good crit chance. And extra crit damage is always good. Because you know what I'm like. 50% uh, chance. Yeah, you know what? Everyone's getting a, a Domino Liber Demonica, okay? Everybody's getting one of those. They love them. People love those. They're everybody's favourite. Brilliant. Or do I want grenades? Is the enemy going to have armor? I think it's like a Chaos Spawn looking thing. So I'm not sure. Extra stun might be fun. I have been enjoying stunning lately. But, I mean, what are the chances that we're going to stun this guy? No, we're just going to shoot him and, and kill him. With pain. So we're good. This will do. I think this is perfect. <laughs> we're going all in with crits, apparently. <laughs> okay? Crits for days. Perfect. Right. Start the mission. Oh, I'm nervous. I haven't been nervous in a while. I'm nervous. This is a good feeling. Let's go. This creature... It is Munificus. Confirmed. Designation Chaos Spawn. That is no Chaos Spawn I have ever encountered. Analysis. No apparent defensive systems. Is it possible this Reaper was somehow stillborn? Brothers, be wary as you approach. So this is very cool. Uh, it says seeds. Hang on. More seeds. <laughs> There's just seeds on the map. Are they going to come into play? I don't know. Uh, so yeah, it is actually a Chaos Spawn. I saw the silhouette, you know, in the last episode. It's like, it, it looks a bit like a Chaos Spawn. But I honestly thought it was just going to be, like, something that resembles a Demon Spawn. But, uh, sorry, Chaos Spawn, they call it a Demon Prince or something. Um, but no, no, it's straight up a, a Chaos Spawn. This is very cool. Freaky guy. Freaky deaky guy. Uh, it has a bunch of mutations. A whole bunch. Which is odd. It says their position. Okay, so what what does he do? He mutates. He can gain additional random mutations. And he can move range 15. It's a blast attack with knockback. Okay, so there's no damage, but he can launch himself and and send people flying. Uh, he can also do 5 damage and knockback with his right talon. His left needler, 4 damage at range 10. And an arc. Interesting. Um left pus sack, range 10 zero damage but in afflicts vulnerable okay right mucal launcher range uh, 2 sorry, area 2, range 14 2 damage, 
and right fleshy abundance. Target Blast over Area 2, Range 4, deal 2 damage with knockback. And that is Tail, 2 damage and knockback. Okay, he has a lot of pieces. Can he Can he use all of these in one go? I kind of feel like that might be the idea. That's kind of what um, Chaos Spawn are like in We'll Have a Fancy Roleplay. Um, they're all about using like a bunch of attacks, just overwhelm enemies. So, we'll see. Reflexive Leap. Oh my, 100% auto to leap. When crit? It's when he's crit! He, oh, we've got all the crit! We've got all the crit chance! He's gonna be leaping all over the place, but it is an auto, so we can disrupt it, right? So, yay? Uh, so leaps up to range 15, that's a big way to jump. Uh, causes a blast area 2, triggers bile spray. Parry, infinite per turn, that's very annoying, 25, but again, we can disrupt it, so I guess we don't have to worry about that, but how obnoxious is that? I mean, one in four hits, he can he can parry. But he can just do that as many times per turn as he wants. And then auto tail snap. Oh, this looks bad too. When you move into an adjacent... Adjacent to his tail. If you go up behind him, he will attack you. Once per turn to knock you back. That's a really cool ability. It makes me wonder, what's back there, huh? What's what's behind him? I don't know. I feel like there's something we should we should get behind him if his tail is keeping us from going behind him. Uh, immunity to afflictions. He's immune to the following afflictions. Bleed, blinded, crazed, dominated, enraged, panic, plague, knockback, banish, and purge. <gasps> He's not immune to being disrupted. Oh my god, I was so scared for a second there. Although, now that I've read it all, I realize it's in alphabetical order, so uh, I should have seen dominate and then enraged and gone, oh no, we're good. Um, but I forgot what disrupted was called. But hey, we did great. Um, Bloom Haze. When crit, his body drops a hazard over area three. Summons random bloom spawn. Hazard afflict plagued. 100% for two turns. Holy cow. After he's attacked, automatically heals 100% of his HP. What? Uh, okay, is that an auto? Can we disrupt that? Uh, and unstable mass. Rem he removes all afflictions and loses 7 max health when a target point is destroyed. Okay. <laughs> I think we might be hacking these off his body. Okay, so we are literally just trying to score crits so we can remove body parts, and every time we remove a body part, he will lose some of his max health. But if he doesn't lose his max health, then he just heals. So, crits for days works, because although he'll try and run away if we crit him, crits are the only way we can do damage to him, because it lets us lop off limbs. And it's only by lopping off limbs that we're able to actually, um, actually kill him in any way. So, okay. That's insane. What an insane enemy. Uh, except also when we crit him... Just just when he's... Oh, no, wait, here. Yeah, when crit. So when he's crit. This is passive, not an auto, so I don't know if this gets disrupted or not. God, I have no idea. Ugh. This guy's scary. I'm scared of this guy. Because I don't entirely understand him. Uh, let's teleport on top of him and beat the crap out of him? Is that wise? It doesn't say anything about gathering seeds, does it? So, is it worth gathering those? I wonder. Not sure. Not sure. And, uh, does he have a stun? He, he stuns easy, actually. Okay, so we just need to hit him with the, um... Okay, yeah, we're gonna teleport to him, and I think we might be able to kill him? this turn? I don't know if we want to get rid of these things. While we can, I'm not sure. Uh, I can just stay out of their way though, can't I? I can just stay out of their way. So we may have to destroy that one. Oh, there might be another one back there. So, I don't know, we might destroy him, we might not. Because, yeah, these, these armor piercing, yeah. So four damage at range four, so not great range. So we don't have to destroy them all. God, should I use this now? Ooh, I just don't know. Okay, everyone be good. Everybody be good. <laughs> uh, extra crit damage? For everybody? Is that worth doing? 
Uh, I mean, the crits don't actually do the damage, they just lop off body parts, so actually that's sort of pointless. Um, so that's nice. Uh, extra AP when executing. I don't think any of this stuff can actually be executed. So yeah, we're not doing any litanies, so we'll just be attacking him. Although, annoyingly, attacking him isn't going to help with the old, uh, and he can parry. God, yeah, okay, we need to do the thing first. Disrupt to servo skill. Yeah, need to do this before we actually crit him and he teleports away, because we just wasted our teleport getting here. Damage yield is insufficient. The beast exhibits instantaneous regeneration. Yeah. It sure does. So, uh, Psychic Onslaught, I think, does an additional plus two stun. This is plus one stun. So, yeah, Psychic Onslaught. Uh, if I do a Psychic Onslaught, then shoot him, he's stunned. Right? Yeah. And then I can definitely get a crit on him. Or should I be using all my other crits? First. Try and crit him before we stun him. Because I might be able to... I don't know, be able to execute him. He's a boss. Ugh. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I... Mm, we have loads of willpower. Screw it. Okay, we're going to try and stun him. We're going to try and do some damage. Lop off some of his body parts. Take away some of his tools. Okay? So this will stun him. Brothers, ready your blades and strike. My blades are very ready. Uh, Iolanthus, crit him with a hammer, please. So I guess force strike doesn't matter because we're not going to be able to do more damage to him anyway, are we? So, uh, okay, so we'll be on 49 health, although we're going to crit him. I wish I'd tell you how much damage he'd have. Like, just give us a red number and a yellow number so we know how much he'd have with the crit. So we're going to do another 5 crit damage, right? So be on, on 45 health? We'll see. We'll see if he's on 45 health after this. Uh, the Needler is an AoE. I don't like that much. Mucus Launcher and... I mean, Bash sounds bad because we're... We're surrounded by chasms, so I think getting rid of that is probably a good idea. Huh. Update. The limb has transformed oh, no. into pure bloom essence. Brothers, watch out for those bloom spawn. Okay, and so he has 47 health, so yeah, his max has gone down by 7. So yeah, that didn't do anything uh, to prevent... Um... <laughs> he, just, he just made that, didn't he? Oh, and he made that. Okay, so he's just made two enemies to fight. I imagine if we keep critting him, this is going to add up really quickly. What's your chance of critting? 80%. I think Iolanthus can probably get a crit here. He missed the chance to get a crit. Are you kidding me with this? It was 80%. Oh, how about you? 80%? Again? 55% on this guy. Oh, please get the crit. You know what? I might need him to actually give... Uh, people additional AP, so I can't really afford to do that. That's very annoying. My apothecary has very good crit chance, though, right? 45%. I mean, that's not bad. That's not terrible. Do that three times. Pretty good odds. 35% for him. Again, not bad odds. If I hit him with another uh, psychic onslaught, then that could work well. That could, that could whittle him down. But unfortunately, I really do want to get rid of these guys. Um, I think I do want to get rid of these guys. Okay, good. Please get another AP. He didn't get his AP back. Shame. 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 Uh, okay, yeah, I'm going to try and crit this guy. What are the odds? 55%. Please get the crit. Oh, thank God. Okay, good. I feel safer. I've got rid of the stuff around here. Getting that might be nice, but no, not yet. Okay, we're going to keep trying to kill this guy. Uh, so he's got range four with armor piercing, though, which is scary. But that's like one, two, three, four. So being over here, we should be fine. Okay, let's get that crit. Oh, we got the crit. Ooh, plus two stun, or we could disable more stuff. I think we need to disable more stuff. I'll get rid of the bile spray. The Talon's not got armor piercing, so 
Okay, so that was another crit, so we've immediately created more enemies. Immediately. So, yay? <laughs> okay, good. Good, we got the crit there as well. Uh, so, our chaplain, our cheeky chaplain. So, we got... Yeah, we can kill this guy regardless of, of damage, so... Not enjoying all this plagued, but uh, it's just that's just how it is, I think. Okay, could force strike, but I don't think that's going to do anything. So let's just start. Um, actually, your command. Oh, we have one AP. Uh, and you've got you have two actions though. So actually, if I do psychic onslaught and then attack him, I'll have one more attack to crit him again. So, I guess I'm going to do another Psychic Onslaught then. That will run us out of ammo. We might automatically gain our ammo back though. Fingers crossed we do. He's getting all his health back. I hate that. He did reload. He did reload. He did get the auto reload. God, I hate this plague. Plague so annoying. But yeah, this should... It won't quite stun him. Okay, that's disappointing. I thought this was going to stun him. Crap. Alright. Just hit him. And yeah, that'll stun him, but I have no follow-up, so I can't. I, just, I can't do that. Uh, yeah, I can't. I can't do it. I just can't do it. So let's range attack something randomly. Can I reach anything? I can reach this. I'm going to shoot you. That's not going to do anything. Unless I guess I get, unless I suppose if I get a crit, then I can insta kill it, right? <laughs> Hooray! Perfect. That was fun. Uh, so this guy's got some talons. He's got a tail. Like, I, what was that? Oh, what did you do, you disgusting blob? Crime. Ooh. No, we're good, we're good. He's just walking away. Okay. Okay, who's doing- Oh, wait, what was that? Are we good? Is everyone alright? Okay, more things are being sick on us. Alright, stop. Stop! Yeah, I think- I think that's absolutely right, what I said about, um, him having a billion limbs. I think they will get to have a go. Although I think he's also being mortared by random bloom spawn. Yeah, like look at that. This guy's still going. Fascinating. Complete cellular atrophication and renewal. Yes, the beast Luna. is mutated from the bloom. We should divine its strengths more thoroughly. Whose side are you on, Luna? Whose side are you on? Fool! Fool! Alright, so this'll stun him. And then I can attack him with Iolanthus, who has very nice crit damage, although that doesn't actually matter. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll stun him. Oh, hang on, hang on. Disruptor Skull, though. I can only do this one more time after this, I think. Oh, crap. The last time getting this guy might be very difficult. Okay, disrupted. So, no blocking. No blocking me, you little scamp. Uh, actually, do I want to do that? Or do I want to have a Iolanthus uh, attack a couple times? I think I might just have Iolanthus attack a couple times. Because I... I mean, look, one attack from Iolanthus is enough to do it, but... Yeah, we'll be able to get him down his uh, meter quicker if I save the better stunning moves. Have at you! Have at you! Okay, good. We're behind him this time, so, uh, different... Yeah! Uh, separating lungs. Lowers the target's maximum stun indefinitely. Oh, hell yeah. Increases the target's crit vulnerability indefinitely, or the tail. Okay, attacking from the rear. Uh, it was absolutely right. The tail knocking people back. That's to protect its vital organs. All this stuff is really useful to attack. That's so cool. So if I go with the crit vulnerability now... I can... I mean, that is an auto, the tail snap, so I can ignore that for now. The lungs lowering the stun is great, and the crit vulnerability means I can get more crits even outside of a stun? 
So I might be able to crit him a couple times before I even need to stun him again. But I guess that guarantees it, so... It's a tough one. It's a tough one. Yeah, screw it. Let's, uh, let's lower his stun. God, this is such a cool boss. Like, really cool idea. Just straight up, awesome idea for a boss. Uh, so that will put his stun down by three. And then one more attack will actually stun him and I can attack him with Iolanthus again. That's kind of crazy, actually. Uh, although, hang on. I got a stun on him, but he didn't... He didn't spew out any nonsense. Which is a bit weird. So, if I get a crit on him when he's stunned... I don't think that counts as a crit. You get all the bonuses of a crit, but I don't think he gets to do his reflex things as if he was critted. So that's interesting. And then that'll stun him. God, what a cool boss, seriously. I am loving this boss. It's such an interesting concept. Uh, okay, then yeah, we'll just attack him because that'll be able to we'll be able to chop out chop out his separating heart to increase his crit vulnerability indefinitely. He's a chaos spawn, so he has other hearts, you know. <laughs> he has other ones. Uh, so forty five percent chance to crit him, just as standard, which is lovely. But, Han, you're our surgeon, so you're sort of um, the best one for this. Right, 45% chance. 35% chance. So, actually, Iolanthus and um, our surgeon are kind of similar. <laughs> um, do I need to give anyone extra crit damage for melee attacks and extra move speed for two turns and a mute? No, not really. No. Uh, also, the Hala Servo Skull. Bring that to a boss I don't think is particularly useful. Because this guy is immune to enraged, isn't he? Enraged, panicked, crazed, yeah, all the things. All the things. Okay, I guess we'll just have to run up to him and, and start stabbing. Uh, hope for the best. I didn't even get him this turn. I can attack once with him, once with him, once with him. This guy can attack three times. But he's got the worst crit. Full strike does nothing. Uh, how about if I use a ranged attack? Nope. Alright, I guess we'll start jabbing him. I'll try and do it with the ones that can crit first. So I can start with you. Okay, you can start doing the same. No crits, huh? Oh, come on, man. How do you not get any crits? Okay, that'll stun him at least. Okay. Ammunition depleted. Okay. Uh, I don't want to stand there. I'm not sure I want to stand there. I kind of want to get around so I can crit him from a different spot, though, rather than from behind. Oh, like, we'll get rid of his tail, wouldn't it? We'll get rid of his tail. That still needs getting, uh... That still needs to be removed. So, yep. Tail. You hear that, brothers? Press the advantage. Destroy this monster. Okay, so that stun triggered everything. Why is that? They're just immune. Hang on. Okay, we disabled a bunch of stuff, so that's fine. This is all overlapping, because he has so many status effects. So what did he just become immune to? Immunity to... Okay, it's immunity to afflictions. Did he just become immune to another affliction, maybe? No. I'm sure I saw that appear. Oh, oh, no, it's, uh, no? Okay, I don't know what. Bleed? Was it bleed? 
I'm not sure. But something didn't register there. So I'm just, uh, is it vulnerable? But he's not immune to vulnerable, is he? He's not immune to vulnerable. It just doesn't matter because he heals through it anyway. Well, that's very confusing. But yeah, he's summoned more nonsense now. And we only have the one action left, which is very disappointing. 45% uh, chance to... To stun it. Well, not stun it, to... Kill it. That thing can't quite reach, luckily. Neither can that thing. Uh, he's going to barge through us, though, isn't he? This is going to hurt, isn't it? Please die. Ah, oh, he didn't die. I even asked nicely. Oh, wait, no, we have another AP. Why do we have another AP? I don't think we had an extra AP. Well, I'm baffled. Well, you can kill that. It's just a bit of plague. It's just a bit of plague. We may need our doctor to do some medicine in a minute. I know it's not like him, but... No, we're fine. We're fine. And now we're facing the way, so we can start chopping limbs off in front of him. Ow. Also, ow. We are all just lined up next to him now. Only vulnerable, more damage. That's annoying, but fine, I guess. Oh, don't make him vulnerable. He's already had enough. Ugh, now we've got to sit here while we get mortared by everything. Oh, not him. No, 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 you can't do that. And we're also going to have a warp surge, I think. Oh, yeah, we're about to have a warp surge. Oh, what's going to happen? New bloom, bloom spawn. That's a lot of bloom spawn. Ooh, that's all a bit grim. He's not got much health, though. Your command. It's not got a lot of health. Uh, Disruptor Servo Skull. I think this is, yeah, this is our last time we get to disrupt this guy. Then he's going to start parrying us and things. Uh, so I can get these guys with a crit. 80% chance, you know, with, with Iolanthus to deal with them. Don't have to worry about him. We don't have to worry about this guy, though. This guy's a bit of a pain. Um, attacking him with a Psychic Onslaught is probably a good shout, because I'll still be able to get the stun on this guy, but I can wipe that thing out as well. So really it's just a case of clearing these two out. And then maybe coming back, but I doubt I'll be able to reach, sadly. Uh, oh, actually, if I go there, because how much health have you guys got? You've got five, and you've got oh, ten. Is that too much? I was thinking if I use Rend the Unclean, I think I can kill both of them from, like, here, maybe? And then I'll have AP to come back. Um, but I think just attacking that, then attacking that. I'll have one AP anyway. Uh, I'll probably not be close enough to come back, but I can use um, Honor the Chapter, at least. Ready. And, oh, he will attack me. He will attack me if I try and run. What is your will? So I do need to use the Disruptor Servo Skull to stop him from getting his reflex attacks. Or, you know, whatever they're called. Okay, so that's something. Alright, just try and kill him. Come on, 80% chance to kill it in one hit. Please don't disappoint me. He disappointed me. Seriously? 80%, dude. 80%. 80. Now, please, 50% chance to get AP back, and you didn't. Alright, 80% chance. Now, get your AP back. He didn't get his AP back. Iolanthus. Dude. Come on. I have sanctified my realm. You're embarrassing me in front of everyone. Okay, Psychic Onslaught, that will hit him, should help with the stun. Okay, good. Good, good, good. And yeah, he'll get stunned. Uh, only if only if we attack with um, Duel. That's okay. No! No! We're with your gun, buddy! Oh no! I can't believe that. Oh, I didn't think I'd right clicked. I must have right clicked. That's so disappointing. It's because I'd swap characters and went back to him. He wasn't. It doesn't remember if you're on ranged. That's what it was. That's very disappointing. I am very upset now. Uh, battlefield medicine. We need to do some battlefield medicine. Jesus Christ. We need to warp charge that battlefield medicine effect. There you go. Have thousands of health. Gratitude. You're welcome. I can use it once uh, per turn, though, sadly. Alright, you get the stun. 
Okay, good. And yeah, you know what? You can get the crit too. Or will you? Your chance to crit is lower, isn't it? Well, it's 100% now, but it's usually 35, so I'll I'll have him get these hits. Uh, I can get rid of his diseased talon. Uh, I'll go for the max HP. So it goes down by 9. But I think removing some of these talons is good. I don't think we'll kill him this turn. So let's get rid of some of his weapons. Or, you know, another. Oh, God. Now there's more enemies here. Ah! Why are you going to be like this? Um, God, he's not got much health left, huh? Oh. Can you now attack this guy? You don't have enough willpower. I can give him more willpower. Unleash me. But uh, I was hoping I could maybe hit these guys and get the damage in, but Psychic Onslaught ignores cover, but it does ignore armor. So that's not quite going to do it. Uh, oh, he's still good to go, actually. Maybe I can stun him one more time. So, okay, let's see. Him giving this guy willpower is the same as him just attacking. Because it'll still just result in one more stun. So I may as well just have him attack. I put him down to four. And then we have three more hits. Just not enough, is it? Unless I get a crit. Just by coincidence. I mean, 35% chance with 2 AP and 1 more AP with 45% chance. I mean, we've got we've got pretty good chance to just get a crit on him. You know? These guys are going to hurt like hell, though. Ugh. Rim. Alright, I might just try and attack him. I think I might just try and attack him. This is the gambit. We're just going to we're just going to swing and hope we crit. We critted. Uh, now if I get more stun, I can stun him another time. But if I get rid of those things, that's how he loses max health. I think the plus two stun just lets me get a crit on him. Possibly. We'll get rid of the Talon. And now if I full strike, it'll kill him. But will that actually kill him? Put him down to zero. Can he replenish after being put down to zero? I have no idea. I actually have no idea at all. Not a clue. How would I know? I, I don't know. I feel like these guys need to go. Because, uh, yeah, they can do 12 damage to us. Here? Oh, no, more than 12. There's four of them. Okay. I think we need to get rid of those. However, if I just attack him and this kills him... Then I don't need Unleash to do me. that. Unleash me here. Here's Commander. Oh, this is I scary. I need to get crits to kill these. As well. So it's a bit dangerous. I've got the same odds of getting a crit on this. Well, slightly lower. Uh, odds of getting a crit on this guy. And that would kill him. <gasps> we did it. Let's get rid of the mucus launcher. Or the... Projectile pus or the needler. They're all things that I hate. They're all things that I absolutely hate. Let's go for the the needler. The undying was an unworthy epithet. Well done, Commander. The celebration can come later, Purifier. We must recover that prime seed. Concordance. Extraction process initiated. Wow, that was tense. That was tense. So it's one of those things, you can either prolong the boss fight and keep yourself in relative safety, like, you know, clear the battlefield of stuff, or you can go all out on him, but make, <laughs> like, a, the possibility of ending the turn uh, without getting just bombarded by thousands of things on the map, very slim. It's, it's really interesting. I really like it. Just the more damage you do to the enemy, the more other stuff you have to deal with. It's interesting. Interesting juggling act. Yeah, I really like that boss. That is that is one of the best bosses I've seen in a tactics game. Just straight up, I adore that boss. I think that was really good. There's just so much like so many ways to tackle that. Um, I think that's really fun. 
would have been nice if we grabbed some of the seeds that around the place, but I'm glad we just dealt with the boss, because that guy was actually doing damage to us. So, um, yeah. We did it, though. Okay, I see the injuries then, fellas. Come on, how are you guys doing? You don't have to be sad. I know you've taken some damage. Uh, okay, I guess we'll get to that in a minute. We need to see what uh, what booty we're going to get. Hooray! The Undying is dead. The Prime Seed extracted from his crooked body, still struggling to heal after his defeat. Do not worry, Commander. We'll... Do not worry, Commander. We'll purge what little flesh is... We will. We will purge. Just come on. Come on, use your, use your words properly, okay? We'll purge what little flesh is left of this demon. Good. Uh, funny helmet. Plus four crit damage for their ranged attacks. Yes, please. Yes, please. That's really fun. Um, we have a, um, it's, it's IL, I think it's Iolanthus's Storm Bolter has a bunch of ridiculous crit nonsense on it. So plus four crit damage is amazing, but that will mean we'll have to choose between crit damage at range or crit damage in melee, and he does use a lot more melee. Although he'd probably use a lot more crit if we had this. Uh, I could just give this to one of the purgators, honestly. And Victory's Testament. Five damage as standard. We can give it plus three range. We can give Scattershot plus three range. And we can give the damage more crit, so we get plus 25% crit chance. That's pretty good. And we get an Interceptor. Rank 4, that's fine. That's pretty great, though. We can't get both. Oh, no, we can't get both. Oh, that's so sad. You know, in the last... Remember, in the last mission, I was like, we can spend all that requisition. It doesn't matter. We'll just get more stuff, and who cares? We'll always have the requisition. We don't need to save any of it. And then this happened, and now I can't afford the things that I want. Because there's also rank 3 sword here, which could do 6 damage as normal. We can have 4 strike, add uh, a 40% crit chance, and we can just have the crit chance be uh, plus 40, uh, 35 anyway. So we can basically make instant crits on this thing. But it doesn't give additional crit damage, which I think is a bit of a shame. But we have items for that. We do have items for that. And crits obviously mean lopping off limbs, and it's six damage as standard, which is pretty great. These are all very good pieces of equipment. Now, what's this one? Has resistance. That's boring. Resistance is boring. So that's rubbish. I'm glad we don't need that one. But unfortunately, there's three items that I want, and I can only afford one, which is very, very dismal. Although, hmm, this one's clearly the most interesting. Plus four crit damage? I really like that. Although, the extra range on the scatter shot, this will make uh, Ty an absolute beast. I mean, the extra crit chance on that. We have to give up the plus four crit damage to range attacks, guys. We do. We do. It's sad. I know. It'd be amazing, especially on a character that had um, uh, the, the like instant crit thing for ranged attacks. That would just be insane. I can't remember what it's called now. Like, hollow scope or something. I can't remember. That would be very cool, but we do just need a better... A better silencer, frankly. Um, yeah, I'm getting it. Oh, I really want a bloody helmet. I'm not satisfied at all. How dare you. And here's the injuries. So, we did get a level up. Uh, we just got the one promotion. We have four experience off Han getting another promotion. But, Thul did get a promotion. So, 14 days injured, 10 days injured, and I don't know. He's too busy gloating about his promotion. Uh, so, we're not getting any of that stuff. This would be good. Get Astral Aim. I think that's how we want to do it. Go get Astral Aim. Although that will cost willpower. Although we have quite a lot of willpower. Emperor's Light has Purge. That is starting to get to a point where it's crazy useful. The actual willpower would have been nice too. Let's go Purge. Because I want to remove mutations. When afflicted, the target loses all their mutations. Oh, hang on, wait, so Purge... I thought that's what Purge did. Yeah, I thought that's what Purge did. I'm not sure I can check now. No, I can't check. I can't check the index. 
sadly. I wish you could hover over these for it to tell you. Uh, but yeah, blinding the enemy. Blind is minus two range damage, I think. And yeah, purge. I'm pretty sure does is what I th I'm pretty sure it does remove mutations. I'm pretty sure that's what purge does. I'm pretty sure. So that just puts that up to 100% is what it's saying. It just means that you can definitely get rid of their mutations. I'm guessing. And yeah, extra area would also be very nice. So we can blind more enemies. But yeah, let's get this. I think this is a nice, um, nice thing to have. If we really need to get rid of enemies' mutations, we can. And yeah, that should do it, I reckon. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, more grenade ammo. So yeah, there's the grenade. This is the grenade guy. It's the purgators that are good at grenades. So you have extra grenade ammo and uh, extra war gear slot as well. Yeah, a bunch of fun stuff. Um, sanctified kill zone we can actually upgrade as well. So we can have armor break on the kill zone. That's more fun than that. Let's do that. Okay. And this stuff down here, the knight gains a bunch more willpower. We can deplete all of our ammo to do more damage. That's not great with the silencer. Oh, side cannon, rather. Extra crit damage per ammo for the next range attack. Eh. Yeah. It is whatever. But yeah, I think that's the way to go. So, warp charge lets us armor break with the sanctified kill zone. Um, in a big area like that, being able to just remove the armor from a bunch of enemies is really handy. Although it is with three willpower. All this stuff is quite expensive. This is a little cheaper, though, with purge. Purge also gets rid of armor, though, if it's armor, if it's the mutations that are giving them the armor, which does seem to be quite likely a lot of the time. So that might even be better than this. But some stuff just has armor, so I don't know. I don't know. Um. Yeah, whatever. That'll do. Gives us some some range of stuff to use, and uh, so 16, 10, and 14 days isn't bad. So they're only light wounded after all that. It's pretty good. Another strain is halted, and we now possess a second prime seed. I admit, this path has succeeded. Yet these rituals are clearly taking a toll on you. Update. I have performed a biodiagnostic on the Inquisitor. She remains within acceptable thresholds. For now. I am not some lab specimen. My exposure is a small price to defeat this enemy. Let us keep focused on the immediate threat. Agreed. Consensus. The Omnissiah rewards our aggression. I... I am ready. Oh, Vakir's struggling a bit. She's struggling. Alright, so, uh, where to now, I wonder? Uh, that's looking a bit iffy. Uh, where is going to be... I mean, that's not looking great either. So, okay, between these two seem to be uh, where we want to be. That might trigger as well if something else gets there. But, yeah, generally I think we can we can just loiter in this area somewhere. Maybe right on the edge. Maybe just loiter here. Oh, that could go off as well. Let's go here. I think that puts us in a good spot where we can reach anything we need to. Anywhere that has high bloom is likely to get another mission in soon. And trigger another, uh, you know, Noctilith uh, crown mission. Yeah, whenever you're ready. Although we do maybe need to think about this guy. That'd be fine. Maybe. Ooh, what's going on? Commander, my reports indicate that you are carrying an excessive stockpile of befouled seeds aboard your ship. The use of corrupted artifacts is sometimes a regrettable necessity, but they should be put to a clear and essential purpose, not coveted like trinkets. I object to your sacrificing our hard-earned research material into the bloom. These seeds are needed to combat this threat. Commander, complying with Kai's request may bring us favor with the Grand Masters. 
I could perform a rite of purification on these foul seeds and destroy them all at once. Jesus Christ, seriously? We could destroy all of our seeds. That would be catastrophic. But I love that we get the option. <laughs> uh, half of our seeds would be lost. Like, is that it? Oh. Does that mean half of every stockpile? Is that what that means? Or is it just going to, like, line them up and, and just keep going once one colour is dealt with move on to the next like how how does it decide how to how to split up half is it just gonna be half of every color or what because like if it's get rid of a bunch of the green ones i agree we have a load of those we can afford to get rid of a bunch of those i'm fine with that but uh i mean refusing to sacrifice any he's probably gonna kick us out of the bloody armory again isn't he i mean we got good equipment though i think we can handle it I think we can handle it, and Vakir will speed up her research, which means that we can do more missions quicker. So we can do more of the, the Reaper missions. In a hurry. And I think that's more beneficial. So I think we might actually say, sorry Kai, but no. Uh, we're gonna, we, we need him. And I know Kai is basically just a giant baby. He's gonna hate it, but I'm genuinely thinking we can put we can do this mission more easily with the research than with any new gear which is disappointing but i think we can we can ignore him i think we can do it without his help at this point i'd prefer to have his help though um all right half the seeds i think half the seeds hopefully we've got enough to do another another one of the reaper researches or at least we will before you know so yeah, we'll do half. Commander, your chapter's foolish notions put this campaign at risk. I agree. No, Inquisitor. What is foolish is to ignore the demands of a Grand Master. Well, that was okay. The cost was the seeds. We haven't upset... Um... Vakir, so our research isn't affected, and we'll get additional requisition. But I need to see what's going on here. So, uh... I don't know... Ne necrosis one we were going to do next, wasn't it? It was. We can't afford it. Oh, that sucks. That sucks so much. So yeah, it took half of each. So yeah, we now can't quite afford this anymore. That's so frustrating. Hopefully we'll get another mission within 15 days and we can top that up a bit. Oh, that's a pain. Alright, so we've got some conversation to do as well, actually. Can I help you, Commander? Yes. The Reapers, they seem exceptionally debased. All demons carry a flicker of personality from their patron. The Reapers have been chosen for this purpose. Perhaps they are favoured by the Plague God above all his other children. All right. Um, and that'll I do. I must return to work. Nurgle toils tirelessly against us. Using the Bionetic Equation, I have already analysed all possible outcomes of this exchange. But you may proceed. Actually quite a lot to talk about with her, apparently. Uh, another Reaper cast back into the warp. That is satisfactory. My servitors have performed a munition audit of your armaments post-mission. There are efficiencies that can be incorporated in your next engagements with the Bloom's Reapers. I will submit our findings to your personal cogitator banks for study. And how does the Baleful Edict hold up? I and the ship remain vigilant. She holds. The lesser machine spirits flit through her systems. They agitate when close to the Reapers. I worry that the corrupting influence of Nurgle will breach the Holy Circuitry and attack the spirits with scrap code. I and the ship remain vigilant. Proceed. You and Brother Rektar work in harmony even when you disagree. On a spectral analysis, we are polar opposites. I worship the machine god, and, the, and logic is my creed. Brother Ektar is a keeper of the flame. The purity of soul is his purpose. It has been a challenging uh, dichotomy at times. Your relationship is companionable. We have grown used to each other. But for the first 3,000 interactions, things were a lot more terse. <laughs> well, I mean, it's nice that they grew to like each other. Ektar and I have had 65,782 exchanges. Box exchange parameters updated. All right, that'll do. To the machine god. 
Exactly, and uh, we need eight. We only have six still. All right, need more servitors, that's for sure. And finally, let's chat to Ekta. The halo of your Aegis is strong. Are you ready? We have claimed another Reaper. This will be a campaign remembered for millennia. I know. If I could, I would be down on surface, shoulder to shoulder, with our brothers. This will be a campaign remembered for millennia. I only wish we were not so reliant on the frailties of a mortal Inquisitor. We are making progress, are we not? The task is not complete. It has been working so far, but Commander, we must not relent or rest upon recent glories. The task is not complete. We must finish this quickly or the Inquisitor risks succumbing to the very corruption she holds at bay. Of course, Commander. How are my brothers faring with this arduous campaign? They will fight unswervingly until our duty is fulfilled and we can return to Titan in glory. It is well you asked, but you should not concern yourself. You command Grey Knights made of the Emperor's seed. As you sure wish. do. Okay, I envy do. our brothers their place on the battlefield, Commander. Alright, now we just loiter for a bit. Hopefully we get some more servitors. Here we go. Servitors? Servitors. Only ten, though. It's a bit rubbish. Uh, and this one... A requisition. Boring. And this one... Grimoires. I mean, that's all fine. Um, no yellow. Up there, though. There is some yellow there, potentially. Which we do need. And we need red. So... Probably go here. Servitors. All the seeds we need. It's kind of perfect, actually. Win a mission with no critical injuries. I mean, I do that for breakfast. Yep, this is where we're going. Going to uh, your rarities. You never know, might be able to reach a second mission. I hear good news, Commander. Another Reaper sent screaming back to the war. It seems your elevation was not unfounded. The Edict remains capable of decisive action under your leadership. Thank you. So we have high support from him now. Didn't we have that already? Uh, <laughs> why is it telling us that? I don't know. Let's just go over here. Yeah, I feel like uh, we had high support anyway because of that previous mission we did. So I think we actually, what happened is we said, oh, hey, Kai, yeah, we'll destroy half of the seeds. He's like, that's great. And then we told him, oh, by the way, destroyed a reaper. And he went, oh, that's great, having forgotten the seed thing that we did earlier. So uh, that's annoying. That's very annoying. So I'm pretty sure that's the exact same effect as we had. Okay, fine. Um, anyway, we'll get more requisition. That's all great. Um, still not enough. Honestly, not enough. That'll be enough for one item. And uh, once again, there seems to be a few different ones that I like. Like tier 3 Terminator armor, finally. And I mean, silencers are good too. I like all of this stuff. I want all of the things. It's a problem. But anyway, uh, yeah, easy. I, I would say that I eat critical injuries for breakfast, but I don't even know the, I don't know the meaning of the word. Well, all right, these guys are a bit injured. That's fine, it's fine. Let's swap Fool out for Kai. It's Kai time we sent this guy out. Silencer, the good one. Lovely. And yep, purple we can use, so extra range. Yes, please. Extra scattershot range. Yes, please. And we're already down on these seeds anyway, so we may as well give you a little bit of crit too. Perfect. Fantastic. Big fan. Mostly. It's fine. I'm a fan. Uh, now let's give him this. So we have extra focus and willpower. Do we need any of this stuff? Probably not. <laughs> what do we need? Uh, grenades have more range. Should we give this guy a bunch of grenades? And give them more ammo as well. Yeah, should we give this guy Heart the Flame? Let's give him Heart the Flame. I'm right, going to upgrade this. We're going to give him um, more grenades, obviously. And then we're going to give them... Uh, yeah, we've, done, we've just done Tentaris, so... We can spend as many of these as we'd like. Red, we have nothing, sadly. And um, extra HP. Cool. I like that. That's fun. Just more grenades. More grenades. Also, uh, our weapon has mad bonus to range anyway, so I think we can get rid of the Purity Seal of Precision. Because that'll be further than we can see. 
I think. So, um, not much point of it. However, that's all for, um, yeah, crit for melee. Focus is fine. Um, servo skulls, always useful. But, nah, it's gotta be grenades, doesn't it? So we could give him the Empyrean Brain Mine, so he can start doing some, um, uh, some stunning. It's at range 10, so target a blast attack. That feels a bit grenade-y to say that it's a mine. But we'll have a couple of ammo for that. Plus four stun sounds rather handy. So maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll go with that. Because I do want to try that out, and we haven't yet. So, yeah, I think he's good. I think he's good. Now, the apothecary. Who are we going to swap you out for? So we have... But we have two of the Ayalanthi. Um... I think we'll get rid of Ulrich. I think we'll get rid of Ulrich for now, because he's so high level. Uh, I could bring the Paladin, because we haven't really used him yet. Just straight up, we haven't really used the Paladin. So we'll bring him... I yep. Oh, hang on. So, we haven't used Voldred Storm in ages. Storm. Let's bring Storm. I miss Storm. He's a good dude. So let's go with the crazy overwatch thing. Which one? Let's go with, I mean, precision targeting is very cool too. And let's go with this. Uh, take that off Han, perfect. And your melee weapon. Uh, I mean, I could give him the demon hammer. It's got extra crit damage. And this guy will be doing um, extra critting. He is our crit boy. Uh, although blatting people around, being able to teleport it to the exact location where I could knock someone about sounds very fun. I wonder if teleport strike will have knockback with this guy. If that's the case, that could be very funny. That's very tempting. That is very tempting. But maybe not entirely useful. Um, when he crits, he gains AP. That's handy. You know, I like that. So I might go with Sorrow. Uh, although, what Force Sword did he have? His parries, makes your crit chances. Um, I can't remember what he actually had. I can't remember what he had equipped. What we were using him with. Something, presumably. Dunno, but I like this weapon. These weapons are good. We had these on Iolanthus for the longest time. But, uh, yeah, I think that'd be good on him. Yeah, I think that'd be good on him. Uh, okay. And then, we're not going to take the, uh, Psychotrope Grenade. Even though I do kind of like that with Crazed, but Crazed just isn't that reliable. Crack Grenades would be nice. Yeah, we're not going to give many of those. We are going to give him the extra crit chance, because... We were always going to give him the extra crit chance, weren't we, with the Dominant Libra Demonica? Cool. And then Han, we are going to swap for possibly Gar. <laughs> Gar. Uh, so you have uh, just a regular Storm Bolter. So here, we need to give you Apostate's Woe. Oh, no, that's the one with the precision targeting. Do we want that on him? No, I think we want him to have the have this one. Nope, that's from Ratham and Islanders. So actually, we gave Storm this, didn't we? In that case, I guess I will give you this one. Hang on. It's okay. Storm, I think we want to give this guy the precision one. So ranged weapon, Storm, Bolter. And you can have... The... Wait. Yeah, this one. Extra crit with ranged attacks. And you have the precision targeting and all the rest of it. Let's give you that one. Cool. Okay, good. And then I'm going to give Ultra Gar the Storm Bolter with the really good Overwatch. Good. Okay, is everyone suited and booted? I think so. So we have a stun mine, and then everyone is going with extra crit damage. Yeah, that's not going to work. Okay, Storm... I, hmm. No, Iolanthus. Okay, you've got vulnerability with that, but you don't actually need to get the crits. 
You're getting plus two crit damage, but that's only because of that. So you're not actually doing additional crit damage. War gear slot, I'm gonna give you that servo skull. I'm gonna give you the extractor servo skull. Okay, I'm gonna give you that one. Good. Also the librarian. I really love, he's got plus seven crit damage. I can't not give him that, you know? It'd be mad not to. It'd be absolutely insane not to give him that. So he's, he's keeping that. Okay, this is what we're going with. Stratagems remain the same. Uh, no critical injuries, no siree. Brilliant. This is our team. Hylanthus Kai, Storm, and Gar. Good to see Storm back on the team. I have not been using the Interceptors much. Which um, is a pity, because I really do like them. But everyone else has been doing so well already, it's, it, I've not wanted to swap them out for him. So, a couple of injuries, actually quite useful. So anyway guys, if you enjoyed this, comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Take care guys.